Hello, this is Chris from Polytech, and in this video we are going to learn how to edit the single product page of our store using the e-commerce plugin GooCommerce and the Ocean WP theme tool. I'm going to go over to the top where it says the name of the site. We are going to click on Visit Store. Here we are now, and we are going to click on a product like this one. And it will take us to the single product page. So now we are going to go to the top and where it says customize, we are going to click on that. There we are. Now we are on the customization page. We are going to go to the left and where it says Gear Commerce, we are going to click. And here we have the single product tab. So we are going to click on that. And here we can select. The layout of the page, it could be a full wide, left bar, right bar, both side bars, or 100% full width. Here we can select the tag of the title, and here we have the position of the elements the price first, then the title, then the ratings, which is not shown because it has not been rated this product. The excerpt. The quantity and add to car and the product metadata. So we are going to move in the title here. And we can see it has changed position. Here we can enable the product navigation. And we are going to click on publish. And we are going to give it a refresh on the page to see the product navigation button. And here we have it, as you can see. So we are going to go back to GooCommerce and single product, and we are going to move on. We can enable the Ajax Add to Cart. We can change the width of the image here and the summary width here. And the thumbnail layout could be vertical, horizontal, and the add to car bottle could be normal, big, or very big. And the tabs, which are these ones right here, we can select the, the layout to be horizontal, vertical, or per section. So we are going to leave it only horizontal. And here we can change the positions of the tab. We are going to leave it on the center. And for the Upsell related items, we can for the upsell and related items. We have the upsell counts here. We can change the number and the number of columns, and we can select to display the related and the items or deactivated. Here we have the related item counts. We are going to go with two, maybe. And for the related product columns, we are going to go with two as well. And here we are going to publish, and we are going to give it a refresh. So sometimes it doesn't show up immediately. There we go. Now we have a floating bar. We can display the floating bar, which is if we pass the add to car button, it will show us here the select product, product three, the quantity, and if we want to add it. To the car, we can deactivate here, and here we can change the background. We can change the color of the title, so we are going to do that white, the price color, so we are going to go with the white, and we have the background of the quantity, which is this one right here. We can change it to we want so we are going to go with the default and on the hover it has a fade también. it has a fade as well so we are going to go with the default and the quantity buttons color which are these ones right here we are going with the default and on the hover we can change it to a blue and the input background and the input color 
you can change it like this and for the add card we can change the background here and we can change the bubble background here and we can change the active car color here and the hover like this and sometimes the button itself will not change because it has the fonts of the two bottle colors if this happens you need to go to the section of the general styling and the buttons of the site now we are going to click on publish and we are going to go to the advanced styling and we are going to scroll down a bit until we found the single products tabs there we go single products now here we can change the title we can change the price color we can change the little price color to whatever we want description color the quantity border which is this one right here the quantity border focus and the quantity color the quantity means plus color and on the hover as well and the borders here on the phone and the meta title color the link color and the hover as well as you can see and for the single na single product navigation we can change the border radius the background color and the hover the color of the arrow in this case the color on the hover of the arrow and of the borders and on the hover of the border as well and the single product add to card we can change it here there we go, we can change the add to car button here in this case. We don't need to go to the team style. So we are going to add background on the hover, on the fonts, and on the fonts hover. And the border, we can give it a color. This button may not have a border as now. And at the top of the size solid and we need to give it a size 1 px and we can give it a radius as you can see the one has a few and for the single product types which are this one we can change the color and the text hover active color which is the one it's selected the active color border and for the description title and the product description call and now it's for the account and so on and for the back so we are going to save the changes we have made by going to the top and clicking on the publish button And that's it, we have edited the single product page of our store in our site using the e-commerce plugin WooCommerce and the Ocean WP team 
in a quick and easy manner. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share with a friend who might need help on the sites. See you the next time on Palatech.